Maud, we're so happy that you're here joining us for this event. Um, tell us how you feel about this event, how you feel about the inner. It's been such an amazing experience. It's something really special, one, about meditating with this many people in one space and the energy that happens collectively, I always find magic, but also being able to listen to other speakers who, there's kind of something in the centre of all of these talks, isn't there, that's like bringing people back to a new understanding of well-being and, and how we can really begin to understand ourselves and work through whether it's breath work, whether it's meditation, whether it's therapy, actually like creating this deeper relationship. And I'm really excited to be part of this conversation because I think there's a real time for change and people seem to be like resonating with it. What is changing in your life? What, how is it a time of change for you right now? So much change in my life right now. It's a good <laughs> question. So firstly, I've done a lot of years of healing and um, in relationships and I've met the most incredible man and we're about to get married. Congratulations! So that, is, thank you. so that is one element of change. I'm trying for a baby, another element of change and it's been a roller coaster journey of IVF and using meditation and breath work to kind of go through the challenges of that it has been so helpful. Um, and also I think my, my practice is changing. I think I'm evolving the more I get to spend time with incredible speakers and places where the science is proving things right and wrong just allows me and my own practice to, to evolve uh, and be able to share that. Um, and I'm also, I've signed my first publishing deal, so I'm bringing some Oracle cards out in September um, called Intuitive Whispers. And so it's all about like how we connect to our intuition and I'm so excited about it. You've really shared a lot about meditation, how it can help, how it can help one navigate uh, one's mind and state of being. How has meditation helped you navigate challenges in your life? In so many ways. Um, I think, you know, it all starts from finding a safety within yourself. I think so often when challenges happen, we go to external things to try and make ourselves feel better. And what I've realized through meditation is the most comfort we can find is a place in a sanctuary within ourselves. Um, so meditation has just helped me in so many times, particularly recently as I've kind of transitioned through IVF and trying for a baby. And it's been really challenging. My hormone levels have been crazy. And it's amazing to know that there's a practice that can bring you back home to yourself and that you can navigate your own internal systems um, it never ceases to amaze me how it helps in all aspects of life. Um, even when you have an argument, if you give yourself a moment to sit with what is the feeling that I actually feel and you respond from that place, arguments don't tend to end up in the same the kind of heated way. It, it tends to be a much more calm, relaxed conversation. Um, so yeah, in all ways, I think it helps. That's beautiful. And for someone who would really like to start meditation, but is feeling maybe a little bit intimidated around it, where or how would you recommend them to start? I always say start small. So five to 10 minutes can really be a great starting point to um, feel the benefits quite quickly. Um, find a great teacher, because sometimes the thing that's scary is not knowing, first of all, how to do it, how to turn the focus inwards um, and with the right instruct instructions you can kind of find that that place and also your breath is the most amazing way to go inwards that is the one thing that's very tangible so you know if you if I say to you just close your eyes and meditate you don't know where to focus but if I said you know close your eyes and just focus on your breath moving in and out there's a very clear guidance inwards and outwards but like that that feeling of like I can follow the breath gives me something tangible and for me that's really where I always say to start. So you would say that the breath is a gateway towards meditation or is a starting point for someone to um, look to when they struggle, okay, where should, where should I begin? Yes, definitely. I think breath is the gateway to so many things in life, but um, yeah, definitely for meditation, it's, the, it's a very e easy way to actually start noticing your inner world for the first time. I hear a lot that uh, meditation is actually <laughs> and this is a myth, right? You escaping your problems or you going inward to avoid your problems. What is your take on that? The opposite is true for me. That's, you know, going inwards allows you to feel your problems. And sometimes 
again, it was the, what I was saying at the beginning, that often when we have a problem, we, we go externally to try and fix it. But actually, the problem is still in us. We still have whatever the emotion is or whatever the physical thing that's going on is in the body. So meditation connects you back to the, the truth of the problem. And for me, that's definitely not escapism. In fact, it's the bravest thing that we can do to create space to feel. Because I believe like feeling is the true beginning to healing. Like you can't avoid it, you can't go around it. It is there, so we can pretend it's not and be busy in the external world, or we can accept it is there. How can I go in and, and feel my way through, through it? That's so beautiful. And if I may add to that, in my personal experience, coming to a still point during a tornado is actually providing a solution to the problem. So coming still becomes part of the solution. So thank you for sharing that. Thank and you for even that. adding on to that as well, for me, I, I've like learned over the years that creativity and ideas and solutions comes from stillness. It's like we create, when people say like, where do ideas come from? We all experience it, they kind of drop in. It's not something that we, that we have to think into. It's like we have to create the space. So the same things with problems, when we're looking for a solution, if we're always busy, if we're always looking out, like we're not gonna allow the solution to come up from within us. Whereas find stillness, find peace, and often there's an internal knowing or, or a voice that will come up and start talking you through the problem. So beautiful, so beautiful. I feel like, um, how, how should I put it? One of the expectation that many people have is that when they start on this inner journey, all the heaviness and all the problems are going to poof, go away and never come back. And if you experience some hardship, it's kind of a setback and you're supposed to do more, you're supposed to work more, to meditate more. And I'm curious about yourself. Is there something that you still are struggling with? Yeah, life is full of struggles. It never stops, right? No matter who you are, whether you meditate every single day for 10 hours a day or whether you're not doing any of it, like struggles are always going to happen. For me, meditations are about like how you respond to the troubles and the problems. So it's not about like living a completely calm, free, free existence. It's like, how do you respond to the stress of it all? How, what are you doing when, you, when those struggles come up? Um, and meditation is, yeah, the process of sitting in that and, and choosing to respond in a way that feels nourishing for you rather than thinking life's happening to me. It's like, I, I have more of a say in this. And I always think like healing, I always describe it like an onion and we're just constantly peeling back the layers of the onion. So we have a big problem, whether it's, let's talk about relationships, whether you're in a kind of toxic relationship, you might get out of the uh, toxic relationship and the first layer is just sitting with those feelings. Mm -hmm. You feel like you heal from that. And so you've kind of gone into a deeper layer. Then you get into a new relationship and some of those same problems might occur. So then you have to look at the same problems again, heal from them, and then you go a little bit deeper. So it's mm -hmm. a, con a constant, unraveling of ourselves, working through ourselves as we meditate, but the meditation grounds us and allows us to heal in a really kind of gentle, loving way for ourselves. How beautiful. I was just taking it all in. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say that um, meditation, or did meditation have any role in your career as an actress? No, and I really wish it had. Like I look back, it's one thing that I maybe one day, I never say like never to anything. And there's one part of me that would love to go into acting again, just for like one experience with meditation as a tool, because I, when I was acting, was very much disconnected from myself. And so I was very much in uh, a, a mind space, I think, through those years. And um, my way of dealing with problems was to say I'm fine all the time and then to go and have a party and party it out and drink alcohol and have a really nice time. But actually that doesn't leave you feeling uh, whole in the inside. And so, yeah, I'd be really curious to know, because I do know some amazing actors that do use meditation, like how would that have changed my experience being on set and being in a character if I'd had that to kind of ground me and, and calm me and work through whatever was coming up. Great, amazing. Uh, and my final question, do you have a message for, uh, for meditators in Romania? <laughs> Just try it. I think it's like one of these things, everybody that I've spoken to here that's curious, it's always, you know, like what's the best way to try? 
I think I said it in my talk, but there's so many different pathways into meditation. So keep trying different techniques, keep trying different teachers, make meditation become something that like, that feels nourishing rather than something that's another chore. Because I think we have so many things in life we, we feel obligated to do and then it feels stressful and we don't want to do it. Whereas like meditation after a while should feel like, I, I say that meditation is like my best friend. It's like the thing that I come back to when I'm stressed, the thing when I don't feel myself, I come back to. And it is like meeting yourself in a friendship. And that's what I hope everyone to experience. I get goosebumps just listening to that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Maud. I am blessed. I'm blessed um, to know you and to meet you.